morning, welcome back to another one. I uh, thought it was all a bit different this morning. I uh, had quite a few up, or quite a few interest in uh, a Larson trapping that I've been doing now for about a week. I do it every year. We try and uh, trap everything up every year, try and catch as many magpies and crows. Don't get me wrong, we do shoot plenty, but it seems to be the more the merrier with uh, Larson trapping. It's all nice and quiet as you can see. That's right behind me, so I don't want to disturb them on a Sunday morning. I'm going to give you a wee show here what the uh, trap is like, what we, how we, how I use it, what works for me, and maybe it'll help somebody out somewhere when we start starting off trapping, or that's only getting into it, there's not much, uh, much about it, so here we are. As you can see, little cage for what I like, what I like to use is strange my pie, so obviously somebody else has caught that my pie up, plenty of water, and I'll keep feeding it as well. Uh, simple trap, I like to cover the top for the simple reason, it doesn't stress the mic pie out that much then. If there's a mic pie all around it on top of it, it seems to stress them out and sometimes you can kill them. So, simple design with a little spring hinge. And I'll give you a demonstration here in a couple of seconds. And small sticks, two cut in half, as you can see, and then spring over here. It's simply just moves back and forward. It's easy for grabbing them and it's easy for picking them out. Not much bigger, I like to keep it elevated as well for the simple reason that if it's on the ground, the mic pies will walk around it and want it around it and not actually go in it. Whereas here, they only have the hedge, they have in and around it to drop on top, and then eventually they will drop into it. So, I'll give you a demonstration here. So, how it works. So, I would say they'll come along here and drop down in, and that didn't go off. And drop down and hit this, and eventually then. It should be caught. That's the theory anyway. I have set a chili camera up just here. That has caught nothing on it. The my pipe top has been very quiet. Uh, it's past couple of days now. So yeah, it's been set up. It was set up on Tuesday. It has caught a total of five so far. Uh, four have went to different traps. They've went Two went to another gate, one has went to another trap that I'm going to check now as well. And, uh, yeah, they're all just given to different people who are trapping and then one was dispatched. So, since Tuesday has caught five, it hasn't caught nothing now this past two days. Uh, they, are, they are still about, there's a few just nothing about doing there. So I'm going to reset this, re it. What I like to use, I'll show you that as well, is wet bread. Wet bread works for me. Uh, wet bread in the feed. We can drop down and wipe right up top. So they're going to come in, they're going to drop here. What they're coming to eventually, or evidently to do, is to try and chase him out because he's a strange magpie. So I'm going to get rebated, reset, and I'm going to set the a GoPro up here so so he's how easy, quick and easy it is to his head up. And yeah, so bear with me. So I have to step back up again now with 
right up top, right down below. It's pretty simple, nothing really rocket science about it. Uh, so I'll leave this loading there for today, go and reset the other one and get it checked out. Uh, Mike Pace already in there, has plenty of water. But I'm gonna get out of here in case I'm disturbing anything. I'm gonna turn the turn the trail camera back on. And then that's it for the day. I'll leave it. Hopefully it can bring someone else in because it's been pretty quiet now this past couple of days. And if it continues to keep uh, being quiet, a simple change of location after we're up now, like maybe move it maybe move it three hundred yards over closer to a different field and that could just be the game changer. That could just make them see something different and start catching again just something as simple as that and even if it means changing the game in the middle getting a different call bird you know it's so sort of these tactics I got that I use so yeah I'm going to check out one so stay with me So it's, uh, it's now Tuesday, uh, the trap's been set up since Saturday, Sunday sorry, and it's, all the bait's gone and of course the other cut is a little knife bird, then go to release now, it's just as simple as opening it up and hopefully he flies out, oh. right you go, uh, so I'm going to move it, there's been a couple of my pies sitting up high watching it, but as time has moved now, uh, it's not stopped catching here. The bait's all gone from the very top, but the bait's still in there, so they haven't really been neared. That one's all gone just due to the blackbird being in there, but yeah, I'm gonna move it now, I'll move it a couple hundred yards just down the field. And uh, hopefully that'll change the outcome. Just as simple as moving it, it can change everything. And then I'm gonna check the other one, which hasn't been doing well at all. But I was also think it's in a bad location, so it may have to be moved too. So yeah, that's the plans this evening. <laughs>
so that's the arson tab rebated, moved and ready for action again. I use quite a little bit this time between bread and eggs. It's just more to entice them in as much as possible as well. I'll set up a steel camera again just to keep a good eye on it. So uh, I'm gonna show you what we have set up here. So you've seen anyway with the previous bit of video, but I stop it. I want to hear your breathing. And two eggs in there, two eggs into it. I gave it a bit of bait. And a bit of bread and fresh water as well. It's quite a lot of food, yes, but it's more just to make sure that they're drop dropping this top going quiet either if it doesn't catch the next couple of days. My pipe's gonna be dispatched and it's gonna have to be uh, getting a new one. But hopefully now they change the location, a couple hundred yards away and it's a lot quieter. Uh, hopefully things will pick back up again. But uh, that's what that's my auction tops and that's what I do with them. Just hopefully maybe it'll help somebody else out. It's only starting off for I maybe when we get into the top one, but uh, if it's as I say, this doesn't change now. I'm going to have to change the middle bird, get the, uh, a new call bird in, and uh, also I've dug out the ladder trap for the crows. Now the lambing season full swing, it's time to get it out and get a great crow stuck on it and get it out in the field as well. So that is the objective for this week ahead. Uh, I'll also put up a few photographs of it being put up on Instagram. If you want to head over there to Propeller Wildfire and check it, check it out there, that's where I'll be putting most of it up. Uh, until next time, until I get someone else up, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure that that subscribe button on head over to Instagram and hit that follow button. So, yeah, thanks. As uh, anybody follow me on Instagram, you've seen that at the weekend we put up five nest boxes or nest tubes on the shore, um, or we stretch the lock. Uh, a few left over. So, what I'm deciding to do is behind our house, we have a river that runs right along, right to the lock. Every year, we always get a couple of mallard that always end up coming here but never stay for nesting. So, I decided to keep one over, I'm going to put it here. This area seems to be the spot they always come to. There's trees on each side, green fields left and right of them. But uh, I'm hoping that maybe it'll change, maybe they'll stay here. And uh, Dad said he seen them yesterday evening down here, uh, floating about trying to find spots. So I'm going to set this up. So, job done. It's not going anywhere, so let's head back up the road again.